do not drink Hawaiian punch. And this is why. So everybody probably remembers doing science fair experiments. Well, my kid's been working on one where you take a hard boiled egg, you soak it in a liquid and see if it stains it to see if it'll stain your teeth. But we tried Hawaiian punch and look at this egg. Kudos, absolute props to your kid. This was a cool little demo. I think it's dope. But that Hawaiian egg result, I want to talk about it because it's a little funky. And while it does look kind of scary, I do think it's actually perfectly fine. So in order to try and understand what's happening here, if we think there's a reaction going on, we got to look at what we think is reacting with each other. On the one hand, we've got the eggshells of the hard boiled eggs, which are made of calcium carbonate which is the same stuff as seashells, also as Tums. Calcium carbonate is a base and reacts with acids. Now on the other side, we got the Hawaiian punch, which does have like a lot of ingredients in it actually, but there are two that are of particular interest to me, the citric acid and the pectin. I believe it is both of these working together that leads to that funky looking eggshell that you got there. Citric acid is an acid. It's present in a lot of fruits and a lot of plants. And we also make it commercially in a process that involves black mold. But as far as I know, they purify it, so it's fine. And because it's an acid, it can react with calcium carbonate, which is a base, and dissolve that eggshell. And it becomes calcium citrate. This calcium citrate isn't like calcium carbonate. Calcium carbonate doesn't dissolve in just water by itself. But calcium citrate, yeah, it does, it does. So once it starts reacting, it dissolves the eggshell and makes this calcium citrate that's just kind of floating around. But this is where the pectin comes in. So pectin is found in a bunch of fruits and their juices and some vegetables. And it's a chain of sugars that gets used in cooking and a few other things, but specifically in cooking to make jams and jellies. It's very much just like gelatin, just a vegan form of gelatin. Pectin in order to form these gels and jellies needs to react with something in a solution. And one of the things that it can react with to form these gels and jellies is calcium. You know, that free calcium, that calcium from the calcium in the eggshells that the citric acid released. So as the citric acid dissolves the calcium from the eggshell, the pectin can start grabbing onto those calcium ions and reacting to form that gel. That's why it looks so weird that this pectin gel is growing on the eggshells, but I believe it is just the calcium getting trapped by the pectin and also the calcium asorbate that's probably present, creating this pattern on the shell as you get some parts of the shell that dissolve more than others, and then you get the gel from the pectin growing on other parts of the eggshell. And that's where you get this wild, funky pattern from. In short, I don't think this is a sign that Hawaiian punch is bad for you. Not that Hawaiian punch is good for you. I'm pretty sure it's got way more sugar than anything ever really needs to have in it. But this, this result was not the reason why Hawaiian punch is bad for you. What I believe is happening here is that the citric acid from the Hawaiian punch reacts with the calcium carbonate of the eggshells and dissolves it a little bit. And then once that eggshell is dissolved and the calcium carbonate turns into this calcium citrate, pectin comes along and traps the calcium making its gels and its other weird structures that end up growing out of the eggshell because that's where the calcium's coming from. But it was a very interesting result. So kudos again to your kid because it was a cool little experiment. Yeah, it was kind of funky. I'm actually going to try it myself a little bit and see if my theory holds that if it's just the pectin and the citric acid. But I hope y'all enjoyed this one. If you did, hit that like button. And until next time, Skim Thug.